Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you some of my favourite knitwear options for spring and for autumn, depending on where you are in the world. I've taken a few different styles of knit, for example a sweater vest, as well as a brighter pick, and then just some of your classic crew necks and stripe knits, and I'm going to show you how I would style each of these pieces. We've got a good mix of the different ways to style knitwear, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll jump straight in. I realized that I don't show you how to tuck in a knit throughout this video, so I'm going to add it in right at the start. On the top left hand corner, I do a simple front tuck. This is probably what I do 90% of the time, and I like it because it doesn't create too much bulk. Right next to that, I tuck my navy knit back into my bra, and this is a really easy solution when a knit is very long. If your knit isn't long, you have to fuss a lot with this one, but if a knit is long, it just holds in place and it's super easy to do. The third option is using a belt. Once you have your belt on, just pull out the excess material from the knit to cover up the belt. Once again, this one works best if your knit is quite long, otherwise you may have to fidget a bit. In the last example, I'm wearing a really bright blue knit and this one is thin. This is the only time that I tuck the whole knit in because otherwise I think you can create excess bulk. The first knit I want to share with you is this navy one from Cezanne. This navy knit is a cardigan, it's got dainty little buttons down the front, and it's also made from 100% cotton. The 100% cotton material has this open lace pattern on it, and because of that, it's in my transitional knitwear favorite. I find with knits like this, it's very hard to wear them in the winter without doing a ton of layering. So in the autumn, as well as the spring season, I like to get the most wear from pieces like this. Most of my knitwear favorites fall into one of two categories. The first are my high quality, simple basics, and then the second category are the pieces I love the look of and I have a lot of fun styling. I think this one definitely belongs into that second category because I just love the way it looks. All of Cezanne's cotton knits have a lot of structure and stiffness to them, and I think it's because of that they look really flattering on the body, but they definitely don't have that really soft, cozy feeling if that's what you're looking for. I don't usually have a habit of belting my knits, but before this video, I had to play around and I actually came up with a few outfits that I think are quite fun with a belt over the top of the knit. One of the ones that I liked was a tonal look with the navy knit as well as a navy silk skirt and then pairing that with a brown belt. If you have been here before, you probably have heard me say a thousand times that navy and brown is one of my favorite color combinations. So I really liked adding the brown to the navy outfit. Even though belting a knit is probably not my number one way of styling this piece, I feel like it's fun to experiment and I now have a couple of extra outfits up my sleeve. For my second outfit, I decided to go for something super simple and casual. I saw this knit with a pair of shorts. The reason why I pair these two things together is because I actually don't really like wearing tank tops with shorts or tank tops with skirts. I always prefer something with sleeves and long sleeves and something shorter on the bottom for me is always a really good balance that I like the look of visually. So this is definitely an outfit I can see myself wearing on a weekend. In my last couple of outfits here, I wear this knit over the top of a t-shirt and some trousers, and you can do it a few ways. The first option is that I would do up the buttons on the bottom and then leave the top open, so it creates a nice V neckline. The other option is that I'll do up the buttons on the top and leave the bottom open, so it shows off more of the top and the waistline details. The last way I would style this knit is reverse, so I'll have the back at the front. With this knit especially, I think it's so easy to do that because the buttons are very subtle, it kind of blends into the knit, and it doesn't look odd at all that the buttons are at the back. The pattern on the back of the knit is a little bit more open than the front of the knit, so I just wear a matching navy knit on the inside and I feel like it looks very seamless reversed. Moving on to the next knitwear piece, and I've got this sweater vest from Grana. So this one is made from 100% cashmere, so it's very very soft and very very nice in quality. I've owned a few pieces of Grana cashmere before, and I always find the quality to be really nice, really soft, and this is no exception. This piece of knitwear serves more as an accessory in my wardrobe, so I would compare it to a scarf or a necklace or a belt, something like that that adds detail to an outfit, as opposed to being a very practical piece of clothing. The first way I would style this sweater vest is over the top of a graphic t-shirt. The t-shirt and jeans previously was very casual and I feel like putting the vest over the top just gives another layer of interest and it definitely makes this outfit feel a little bit cooler than just the t-shirt. I would definitely layer jackets on top of this but I just wanted to show you the knit in the most detail. In my second outfit, I decided to put this sweater vest over a polka dot shirt. I think this combination is so cute and it's just giving me a new way of wearing the shirt that looks different if I was just to wear it alone. 
alone. This vest here is once again complementing the rest of my wardrobe, complementing my different tops and blouses, and giving me more combinations to wear, as opposed to really being functional in this outfit. In my final look, I'm wearing this Uniqlo top on the inside. It's very simple, very plain. So I decided to throw this over the top. And instead of using my belt, instead of using different jewelry pieces, this vest is really acting as an accessory to elevate the basic knit I have on the inside. Something else I wanted to point out is that one of the reasons I do like this sweater vest is that it allows me to show off my blouse and it doesn't just cover up everything up to the neckline. If you're looking for a sweater vest, I would definitely keep that in mind and see if you want to show off more of your blouse or if you're just happy to have the sleeves. Through. My knitwear favorites are very neutral, it seems to be white or navy, but I do have a bright blue option over here and this one's also from Cezanne. This is the lightest knit I'm showing and this one I exclusively wear as a base layer where I throw different jackets and other knitwear pieces on top. This one is predominantly an Eco Vero material and then there's a little bit of a polyester filler which I always say I'm not a huge fan of, but I do enjoy the look of this knit and it is actually still quite comfortable to wear. A couple of quick style things that I really like about this piece, other than the beautiful bright blue colour, is the neckline. I find this boat neckline to be incredibly flattering, but not too overwhelming or dramatic either. I love the puffy sleeve, and then it has a deeper cuff, which I think exaggerates the sleeve a little bit more. This piece can of course just be styled with neutrals and black and white, but I wanted to take this chance to show you a few colourful outfits. Um, because a lot of my outfits here are quite neutral. In my first outfit combination, I will pair this blue knit with a pair of khaki or a pair of army green trousers. I think in the US and in some countries it's called army, but I generally refer to it as khaki. Blue and green are next to each other on the colour wheel, so they always go together. The colour of the pan is a bit more of a muted green colour, so I think it goes really well with a very vibrant blue top. I wanted to point out proportionally, it's nice to have a good mix of very fitted tops. So you can wear these with your wider trousers or your looser bottoms. And then with your looser knits, you can pair that with your slimmer bottoms. So you always have very balanced proportions in your outfits. Proportionally, my second outfit is very similar. Because the shorts are wider, I felt like this top, because it's tighter, goes really well. This bright blue with the pale yellow, I think is a really beautiful combination, especially for springtime and then going into summer. My last combination is wearing this with an orange printed skirt. This is a really easy colour combination because I know they're on the opposite sides of the colour wheel so they'll always go together. And because it's on a black base, I also think it's a little bit more neutral and easy to wear. My next knitwear favourite is a very boring one and it's this extra fine merino wool sweater from Uniqlo. These are definitely some of my favourite knits to recommend as basics because I think price point wise they're fairly good and then they just last for a long time. A lot of Uniqlo knitwear, especially in that lamb's wool range, I find just does not wash well, it does not last well, but the merino collection I've always had very good experiences with. If you're looking for a high quality merino base layer, Uniqlo is definitely my go-to. The reason why I like these very boring tops is because you can really do so much to accessorize them and make them into different outfits. I feel like something like this is more detailed and I can only wear it in a few ways, whereas this has endless opportunity and I will show you in the side link. In my first look, I wear it with these green trousers and similar to before, because the trousers are more structured, because they're a little bit wider, I feel like this fitted top just works really well together. When I'm wearing this plain top, I usually like to add on a little bit of extra jewellery. And because you can kind of layer jewellery in different ways, this top can always look a little bit different from the last time you wore it. If I was in a jewellery mood and wanted to play around with different jewellery pieces, this is the top that I would wear. It doesn't move around too much and it just allows the jewellery to sit on top very neatly. A simple way of wearing the sweater is taking a knit in a similar color and then just tying it over your shoulders. So I really like moving the knot to the side and it almost creates a little bit of like a draping cape situation which I really like. This for me is just another way to accessorize the plain knit inside and turn it into something different. Something else I would do is take a contrasting knit and then tie it at the front instead. I feel like there are so many color combinations you could play around with to create different looks. And we're all working with just this plain base layer on the inside. The last way I'll style this piece is just with a vest. So whether that's a denim vest or a sweater vest, adding that third piece completely switches up this knit. Between jewelry, style hacks and layering, there are so many outfits and potential outfits that can be created with this simple knit and you probably have something like this in your wardrobe already so I would encourage you to play around and 
um, come up with new ways of wearing the plain, simple things. My next favorite is of course a stripe knit. I could never do one of these videos without including a little bit of stripe. And this is the Cezanne Leontine knit, which I have owned for quite a while now and continue to style all the time. It does make me cringe that these are on hangers, um, but don't worry, I'll be putting them back very soon. The main thing to note is that this is a cotton knit, so similar to the navy one, this is another one of those stiffer, slightly more structured knits. They feel quite similar, but I feel like this one is ever so slightly softer in comparison to the navy. With all of Cezanne's knits, I feel like they definitely fall on the slightly boxy side. So if you go true to size, you'll get a slightly boxier look, whereas if you go down a size, it will be slightly more fitted. For me personally, I'm starting to size down a little bit more when it comes to Cezanne knitwear because knitwear is one of the few things that I like a bit more fitted as opposed to really oversized. Almost all of my looks with this stripe knit is around print mixing. And the reason is because a stripe knit goes with everything. Of course, it goes with all plain bottoms. So I thought I'll share with you how I print mix with a stripe. So firstly, the most subtle is just having a little bit of a printed piece pop through on the neckline. I think this is especially easy for this knit because all the buttons open and then you can have more or less of the print showing up depending on what you prefer. I tend to wear this with all the buttons done up, but I feel like in this case, by opening up some of the buttons, it just allows more of that print to show through. If print mixing is not really your cup of tea, you can also just do a t-shirt on the inside and have the neckline of that peek through. So whether you do a blue t-shirt, a white t-shirt, I feel like having the t-shirt collar poke through looks a little bit more casual than just wearing this knit alone. So that's another way of playing around with styling this knit in different ways. Another way of print mixing I would do is wearing a polka dot shirt on the inside. Because the stripe is such a simple print, the polka dot is also a simple print, I feel like this is very easy to wear. My my favorite way of print mixing is definitely grounding it with basics, so in this case a trench coat as well as the jeans. I feel like if you mix it in with trendy pieces, the look is a bit more maximalist, a bit more bold than my personal preference. Grounding it with basics is definitely the way I like to go when it comes to mixing prints. Print mixing is such a personal thing, I feel like not everyone will like it and I totally get that. But I imagine that if you really love prints, sometimes it's hard to wear prints in different ways, whereas print mixing allows you to take your prints and style in ways that look different compared to wearing it alone. The last and most simple way of print mixing is just wearing the stripe with a check blazer on top. The stripe and the checks are two very easy prints to mix and I never feel like it's too much or it's too bold and I think the reason is because the stripe is a bit more of a larger print and then the plaid is such a micro print that it just goes really well together. An alternative to the stripe knit would be this one. I honestly feel like I wear them equal amounts and I've worn these both so often, I've been trying to push myself to wear something else for a change. The final knit I'm going to share with you is this cream knit with asymmetrical buttons and this one is from End of a Stories. So I feel like this is a slightly thicker material, so this is something I would probably recommend more towards autumn or spring if you live somewhere colder. I know for me in spring, this could start to feel a little bit warm by the end of spring because it is quite thick. This knit is made from a cotton blend, it's 54% cotton and there's only 6% wool in here. So I feel like because there's not a lot of wool here, it doesn't have the scratchiness that wool sometimes has and the cotton I feel like definitely makes it feel a little bit softer. So this type of cotton material is so different from the Cezanne cotton. This is the soft fluffy type, the Cezanne is definitely so much more rigid in comparison and it just comes down to preference. For the climate I live in, I kind of do slightly prefer the more structured type. It feels a little bit cooler to wear compared to the thicker, cozier, fluffier ones like this. I pretty much know what to expect when it comes to End of Stories knits. I know that after a couple of years, it will have some bubbling on the material. Nothing too bad, but just a little bit. One thing I like about End of Stories knits is that they tend to hold their shape quite well. So remember when I was saying Uniqlo sweaters just lose their shape really quickly? End of Stories sweaters I put into a laundry bag and just put into the machine and they always come out great. I dry them flat and everything is perfect. Asymmetrical anything just feels a lot more intentional um, in the way it was designed and I always think it looks so much more elevated 
than a simple knit. So I feel like if you're looking for a classic white knit for your wardrobe and you were thinking about something a bit more simple, this can be a really good alternative because it just means that you don't have to style it as much for it to look chic. You can kind of throw it on and go and it's super easy. But at the same time, I don't really feel like it's compromising anything. So you could accessorize it as much as you want and it wouldn't feel over the top either. So basically what I'm trying to say is that it's an elevated basic, which is my favorite kind of piece. The overall fit of this is definitely boxy and I think half of it is the shape of it, half of it is the thickness of the material. So a little bit bulkier than some of my other sweaters that I'm showing in this video. For the first outfit, I would either wear it with the buttons closed or open. Generally speaking, I don't really like cardigans worn open. It's just a personal preference thing. But with this particular knit, I really like the way it falls when it's open. So I actually do like styling it with the buttons undone. I like that it kind of keeps the asymmetrical shape even when the buttons are not done up. This is a really easy go-to outfit, but I think the asymmetrical design is just adding a little bit of interest to the look. For my second outfit, I go for a silk skirt and all of the outfits that I choose to wear with this knit tend to be a little bit more flowy and a little bit less structured. I find this knit is quite boxy, so going for structured is a little bit much um, when it comes to the proportions. The same thing with this last combination. The material of this trouser is a little bit less structured than my usual trousers, and it's also a little bit slimmer than usual, which I think pairs really well with this boxier knit. So these are all my favorite knitwear pieces for the transitional season. I recently did a huge clean of my wardrobe. Everything is now super organized and neatly presented, so I'm super excited to do more of these little edits um, with you very soon. I do have a mini skirts video plan coming soon, but let me know if there is another area of my wardrobe you'd like me to deep dive into, and I'll be more than happy to make that video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely week ahead, and I will see you next one. Bye.